So this is a Red Baron uh, triplane or any other triplane that was back in World War I. So this is a representation of the World War I uh, fighters. You can see the little guys, the little pilot and gunner out back. And then you can see all three of the uh, wings that the triplane had. And uh, don't forget, this was like 20 years after, less than 20 years after the first airplane was ever invented. They had a triplane fighting, fighting other planes. Amazing. So let's go check out how I built this in five minutes of time and only 21 pieces or 221 pieces. So let's go check out. Let's go check it out. So not a biplane, but a triplane. So we got to make a plane that has three wings to it, like the Red Baron plane that you see right here. So let's go try to make a Red Baron triplane. Um, let's put five minutes on the clock, like always, and get started. So we need to find, first thing we need to do is find wings that are going to be the same-ish size. So it looks in the picture like the bottom wing was smaller than the top two wings. So now we have the wing at each level. That's good to go. So now we need to work on the fuselage. So it was a red airplane. And maybe, maybe what we'll do, something like this. Okay, so now that has to be supported. Okay, so this goes there, that goes there. Um, that works. And then I gotta build up from there. They had these kind of supports on either side like that to get to the top, like that. So where's the other window? Window, window, who's got the window? Okay, so they had these cables that kind of stuck up like that. Okay, that looks decent. Okay, so now we gotta build up The back section was pretty long, actually. Um, maybe the pink turns into, or maybe the red turns into pink. And then this goes back here too. I mean, it goes pretty far back. So let's see what we can find to get us back there. Oop. Okay, so there we go. So now that works. Put the tail on the back. Like that, we're gonna put the engines. Where were the engines? Were they up here? Were they under here? I actually gotta look at the picture. Oh no, it's 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 in the front. Of course it's in the front. I don't know what I was thinking. I mean, yeah, it's gotta be up front like that, right? Um, I'm not sure what I was thinking. And then the window, was there and they actually used to sit back here back there is where they used to sit it was two people that sat right here and right here so there you go so now we gotta put some wheels on it see how far up i am and this was a tail dragger so meaning they had this little teeny wheel on the bottom you had to land on the wings and then move forward. So something like that. Can we just get away with doing that? Um, maybe. Maybe that's going to work. Actually, I'd like to integrate that somehow. Do I have enough time? Let's see. A little bit of time left. Yeah, that would work nicely. And then something like that. No, I like that much worse. 
or I, I don't like that as much as just putting it on there. And then we'll put a little something right there. That, yeah, that works. Maybe two. So back here is where they used to uh, used to sit. So I'm actually looking for dots for the pilot and the gunner because they sat back here. Now I don't know which planes had pilot and gunner and which ones didn't. Um, so the Red Baron might have not had um, a gunner. But, I mean, think about this. I mean, we're talking about Aviation Month. And I want to I wanna talk about World War I airplanes were built, I think it was like less than 20 years after airplane was invented. So, wait. So I think I'm done. Am I done? I got my two little guys back here. Maybe they have hats on, huh? Maybe I'll add little hats, little helmets. Yeah, little guys sticking up. Maybe this one has a jacket as well. They normally had like leather jackets and leather skull caps is what it more likely. Like uh, football helmets more than they were military helmets. So there you go. That is a triplane. I think it looks pretty good. I think it's pretty representative of a of a World War I Red Baron triplane. I actually like this angle, looking at it from this angle a little bit better. It shows that triplane, shows my little guys in the in the cockpit. That's pretty cool. I mean, let's take a step back. These type of airplanes were built. I think it was like less than 20 years after the Wright brothers invented an airplane, right? Before the Wright brothers, there was no airplane. And then like 20 years later, they militarized it in multiple countries and got it to a point where they were using it to bomb other countries. They were using it for fires and they were using it for ground support. So, I mean, this is a huge, it was a huge impact to the World War I. And not only was it a huge impact to World War I, it created a technology need, right? This is one of the first times that they started seeking out new technologies and utilizing them in military aspects. But that also then led to airlines and everything else downstream of World War I, where they used all the technologies that were invented during the war for um, civilian use. So it created this technology need, which then equated to all the planes that we know today. So, and you actually saw a large, huge technology gain in airplanes back then. And you actually, you don't see much technology gain in airplanes now. And the reason is, is there's just not a lot of need. The designs that we have are good enough and it could stay good enough for many years. So there's not a huge technology need Whereas here, they had to advance the technology each and every year um, with new techniques and new, uh, new designs just to be able to outperform their competition. So each country was doing the same thing. It was quite amazing feat of the World War I airplanes. So a triplane represents that World War I fighter that we all know. And uh, I think it's pretty cool. Leave a comment down below if you like this build. And if you didn't, please leave a constructive criticism as to how you would have built this differently. Love to hear about it. Um, and maybe I can imply those techniques into the future. So leave a comment. And if you want to see more five minute builds on Aviation Month, like or subscribe down below and hit the bell. And you'll get those notifications every time we send out a new five minute build. See you next time. And uh, go, let's go check out what we're going to build tomorrow. So that was a cool build. 
and this is Aviation Week, so let's spin the wheel and see what we get for tomorrow's five minute challenge. So a Concorde, probably one of my most favorite um, jet planes of all time is the Concorde. It's got that nose that slopes down. I have no idea how I'm gonna build that. So tune in tomorrow, 7 a.m. we release each video and uh, see how I build a Concorde. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow, bye-bye.